there's so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students, faculty, and staff and leave with the skills and tools needed to be inspiring industry leaders and professionals with high hopes and dreams for our bright futures ahead. The people and the experiences that we are most grateful for are the ones that will continue us on this upward path for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of gratitude, thank you to my fellow classmates for being a part of this community with me. Whether we spent most of these moments together or barely crossed paths, you contributed your gifts and talents to continue the legacy of this incredible community. Thank you for prioritizing the preservation of the Adrian College experience and for continually seeking to develop the institution's ability to develop both the knowledge in our heads and the care in our hearts. Thank you to the roommates, friends, teammates, and peers who, although we have only known each other for four years, it seems impossible to think about being surrounded by anyone else in the coming weeks. We celebrated each other's accomplishments, became each other's biggest cheerleaders, and never let each other struggle alone. College has been called the most formative years of our lives, but I can say for certain that these last four years have included both the most amazing and most difficult moments of my life. One constant, however, is the support of my friends through it all. It is impossible to thank everyone who makes up our AC family. Together, you have each played an integral role in helping us achieve this momentous milestone. And you be proud to be a graduate of Adrian College. It's a good day to be a Bulldog. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023. on the threshold of a magical time in your life, a time of significant growth and introspection, self-awareness, challenge, and opportunity. A time when you will always look back at and say, you know what, those were incredibly special years. Never experienced before I arrived and never replicated after you leave college.
take pride and learn from Asa Mahan's leadership today. I mean, I might be able to mess around with this thing.
there was one word I was going to use to describe Good evening, rugby fans, and welcome to Docking Stadium in Adrian, Michigan. I'm Mike Bowen, head coach of the Adrian College women's rugby team, uh, and I am here commenting this matchup we have tonight between the Lindenwood Lions and your Adrian Bulldogs. Joining me is one of the women's players from our team. Hello, my name is Barry Quinney, and I'll also be commentating this game. All right. Lindenwood, historically one of the top teams in the country, uh, taking on this young and feisty Bulldog side. Very excited to see what right. this matchup has in store for us. I picked the one with the best grip. I figured that might help her. Might help her. Right. Now, if you hear some other speaking in the background, that is because we've got a special treat for you. We have our referee right. mic'd ready. up. Duncan, you ready? All right, Black, Nick, you ready? Ready to go today. Oh, yeah. Good. All right, here we go. Kickoffs away. Right. Go away! Inside! Take a Fielded step. well by the Lions in the 22. Moving. Outside! Inside! 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 Yep, and the Lions are going to be looking to exit Hold from on. their own red zone here. Yep. So Lindenwood puts that ball into touch, and it'll be Adrian's line out just outside of the 40. You see the boys getting together, have a little bit of a chat in the forward pack, and relaying that message to number two, Luke Cullingworth, the man from Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, but it's a good steal by Lindenwood. Stay, Nick! Adrian, you can use your rush up and give good defense. Ooh. No, it was straight down. A little bit of an error there from the Lindenwood fly half. Right. It'll be now Adrian Scrum in an excellent scoring position here. Look for these forwards to drive hard and uh, you know, kind of impose their will on the other pack. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Come on here. Let's go, go. Let's go, go. First scrum, hit and hold, keep it stable. Crouch! Yes. Fine! No go! Set! Hit! Hold! Oh, big shove by the Lindenwood Pack to steal that ball. <laughs> right. Counter! Drop ball, but it went backwards. Lindenwood Wood in a very dangerous position to put the dogs under pressure right now. Tackle away! Oh, and that's a yep, penalty against your Adrian Bulldogs. Not rolling away from the tackle is the call. Good kick to touch off the penalty, and now it's going to be the Lindenwood Lions with a line out deep in Adrian, the Adrian I got your territory. Mark. Adrian, you're there. Adrian. Good. Maul! Got that ball. Oh, Maul coming been engaged by the yeah. Bulldogs. Collapse, yeah. but ball is yeah. available. Yeah. Right, and we are under some pressure here early by the strong team. Good job. Let's see what happens as we are near the team. Uh -oh. Big impact by Winnin Wood. Oh, but the call is a penalty against Lindenwood for not releasing. Well done by your Bulldogs to get over that ball quick. Steal possession away. It's right here. Yep. All right, we can hear the ref giving, uh, you know, just a little bit of input to our kicker, Quinn Murray, out of Detroit Central Catholic. Uh, Murray's touch is, uh, Murray's kick is found touch. 
right? And so the Bulldogs have escaped the danger for now. So let's see what they can do at from this line out. Oh, Collingsworth, throw, not quite on point. Thank you, eight. Linda with another turnover ball. Very Release. difficult to defend. Very dangerous position for Adrian right now. If they can get it there, there's some space on the outside Release. for the Lions. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Sorry, nine. Very physical play. Oh, absolutely. These are certainly two of the top teams in the country. You know, Lindenwood obviously has historically been one of the best in the business, and Adrian is rising to meet that challenge as a new team. Oh. Uh -oh, that ball came out. Not on line. Under some yeah. good pressure from the Adrian defense. Right, Linda would spot a little gap, but couldn't quite hang on to the ball, and we get a scrum to the Bulldogs. Sorry. I'm kind of nervous because I don't, I don't want to, like, mess it up. <laughs> right, we saw a strong drive by Lindenwood in the first drum. Too much instant, but we've never, we've never set. All right, so our referee calling yeah, for I'm a restart really in that push. scrum. I never got the stability I wanted. Take, take the hit a little bit more. All right. Yep. You have to right, be a though. little bit more stable in this scrum. Yep, the rule is you are not allowed to drive before that ball is in. So the referee is looking for go, go, go. not a lot of movement after the set. Good. Right. Crouch. Hips low, not coming in at an angle. Fine. Set. Hold. No, we're good. We'll get that oh, ball Adrian's in. under pressure now. Being pushed back by Oh, Lindenwood. stolen by Lindenwood yet again. A little ball over the top. Oh, that's the man, Bauti Nasta out of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Very dangerous ball carrier. Nice tackle by the Bulldogs. Oh, uh -oh. that's a very Linden slippery movement out. by Lindenwood. And there's a try for Lindenwood. Ah. Well done by the Lions. You know, nice turnover ball off the scrum. And some very smart passing and footwork leads to their first try of the game. All right, we're set six minutes into this match. Lindenwood goes up 5-0. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get a try score for for you, uh, you know, listening in. Uh, but you know, there are going to be many more tries scored in this game by both teams. We should all be very excited to see what comes next. Video to the kick. Like. Record. Record. Oh, and the conversion is good by the Lindenwood Lions, bringing it to seven to nothing. We've got the Adrian fullback, Quinn Murray, looking to start us up again. He's trying to put this ball deep. Trying to put Lindenwood under pressure and force them to make a perfect exit kick from their own 22. Ah! <laughs> so right, and that ball's in the air. Tracking, it's tracking back well. Oh, we got a bit of kick tennis going on. Always exciting for the backs, always frustrating for the forwards. Good pressure by Adrian, but Lindenwood's able to hang on to this ball. Right, some, oh. more, some more hard defense by your Bulldogs. Looks like we're, we've got a kick coming downfield now. Oh, it's, it's a high and short one. Oh, knocked backward by Lindenwood, but the Bulldogs have recovered Tackle! It. Tackle! Dogs at a very nice ruck. 
get that ball out. Good attempt. Right, this is really the first opportunity we've seen the Bulldogs have with ball in hand. Oh, we get some nice linkage of play here. Oh, excellent defensive pressure. Oh, and a smart little quick tap before the defense is set. Lindenwood on the front foot, looking to put your dogs under pressure. Ready to get that ball out. Oh, you see how fast the hands are, even when wow. in contact? That just quickness of ball movement, very difficult to defend. Ken! Ken, good work. Nasta with a nice run, putting Lindenwood inside the Bulldog 22. Ooh. Is that off black? Or is it black top? Is it touch top white? Let's see what they have to say about this one. Appears to be a Lions lineup. You can see our the referee was asking his touch judge, right, what had just occurred. All right, time off. Oh, and he's called time off just to get to the bottom of this. Putting off, so I'm going to overrule you. It's <laughs> right in my head. It, it appears the referee did not no, it's like it, it's what it. he saw initially, and it is a Lindenwood Lions lineout. A lot of L's in there. Yes, lots. Oh, when Lindenwood breaks that ball back down to create a mall. Oh, unfortunate. Right. So the law is if you do not touch a line out, the ball cannot progress forward. However, if the defense backs out of the line out, it is a penalty against them. Right. So just a little bit of law's uncertainty, getting your Bulldogs in trouble. Lions march another 10 or so yards down the field. And we'll have another line out. They've done it multiple times, so let's look to see if a mall forms again. And let's see if your dogs know the laws and can get the stop. And the mall has been engaged and challenged this time. Oh, and a good challenge it was as the Lions could not hang on to the ball in the back. You've now got a scrum coming to your dogs. I get it, but I got it. Yep, ref's got it. I like don't really know what to say because like I can see but like I don't know okay just say just say it okay okay set and that ball goes in the channel the dogs, the oh, dogs good a out. pick by Junior Silo, the man from Fiji. Oh, but he's thrown into touch. Just didn't quite have that supporting runner where he wanted him. The dogs gained a lot of ground there. I think like the best thing you can actually think of, you're a student, you know these things. So I don't. Uh, yeah. Never <laughs> I'm a little loner. That ball comes in through oh, Lindenwood. Deep oh. line out throw by the Lions. Oh, oh, but a good challenge out there in the back. Took down by the Bulldog. Oh. That ball's knocked forward. Lions had an advantage in numbers, but couldn't <laughs> hang on to the ball. All right, so once again, oh, some tenacious God. defense from your Bulldogs puts the Lions under pressure and results in a turnover. Touch on my way. Right, you got to think the dogs would much rather be playing this game yeah. in the Lindenwood half instead of their own, but the defense so far has done a good job of creating creating turnovers. Right, we're just going to have to wait and see if we can keep up that pace of play throughout this 80 minute yeah, game. I'll, I'll you. <laughs> we'll be your Bulldog scrum again. Yes. That 
ball comes in. Look at that. Oh, spin. big drive by the Lions. Oh, but the referee has deemed it to be illegal. Oh, it does not appear. Oh, he's going to reverse that. Clear collapse on Black. Against Black. Collapsing the scrum against Adrian is the call. Right, so that results in a penalty to Lindenwood. And you've seen in the set piece, that would be the line outs and the scrums. Lindenwood does appear to have the advantage for now. So, we, you know, we should anticipate a lot more territorial and tactical play. If the Lions feel like they have the advantage at the set piece, they'd be more than happy to lose possession <laughs> and play in and it's full. Adrian territory. So I'd say we'll have another line out. Thrown in by Lindenwood. Caught by Lindenwood. Mall's coming down. Oh, it's a rolling mall. The drive is through, and it appears to be a tr another try to the Lions. Some excellent work in that rolling mall. Lindenwood is putting up points against the Bulldogs. The See if the Bulldogs will fight back. Yeah. Uh, and score against Lindenwood. Let's stay on it. You just swim. No, I'm, I'm done. And the Lions have slotted that conversion in. Score is now 14-0. Lindenwood over Adrian. This is a Midwestern D1A Conference League match. So this is, you know, very important for both of these teams to count towards their eventual playoff seeding. Off. Quinn Murray with the kick, center of the field. Dangerous. There's a lot of options in there for the Lindenwood Lions. Oh. Well, that's one heck of a run, I believe, by LaDon Mathis of Lindenwood. Another kick will be put up into the air by Lindenwood. Oh, it's a dangerous chase. But your dogs again come up with it. Adrian Bulldogs using the right of the field. They're continuing to kick that Ooh, ball. A little chip through. Oh, it's able to hit the ground, and that makes it a phenomenal chip kick. Bulldogs need to apply some pressure here. Knock, oh, on, knock on is the call. So your we'll dogs get a scrum yeah. right around hey, the 25 yeah. yard line. Oh. Scrum not you. We'll have a good push here by Adrian. Hopefully no, no, it's all right. Wood too. Uh. Right, if you notice, the last few scrums have been driven up by the Lindenwood props. So Lindenwood is trying to get underneath the Adrian props. Yeah, not anymore. Pop their shoulders up and drive them back. So if Adrian's going to survive in this scrum, we need to keep our hips low, to keep our shoulders low, and really apply a, r a lot of pressure into the back of their knees. Coach. Adrian will put that ball. If you notice, that's number eight junior silo binding not onto the locks, but onto one of the flankers. Uh, but our referee has called for a reset. Hasn't quite l liked, but whatever he's seen. A redo for the Adrian Bulldogs. This scrum. 
Yeah, I got to say, I mean, especially coming out of the front row myself, it's, uh, you know, scrum after scrum after scrum. Mm -hmm. It can be tiring. It can yeah. wear you down. Very much. Mm -hmm. All right, so after this scrum's over, let's see how quickly the type 5 of your dog is able to get out and get back in play because that is going to be a huge factor. Very crucial. Uh, ball one by your dogs, not cleanly, but ooh, that's number 10, Petalovatuve, spotting a little ball half gap. Out. Oh, but... Oh, good pressure by Lindenwood, right? And now referee playing advantage for a knock on to your Bulldogs. A little bit of a messy game here. The dogs seem to find structure. Oh. Okay. And that's number 14, Tajay Miles, the man out of Spanish Town, Jamaica, dancing around a little bit. Oh, good pressure by Lindenwood. Oh, and Bulldogs are not. He had it. Not he lost it. He had a pull. He had a it mean, wasn't being held. He just had it and lost it. Knock. knock on is the call. So I believe your dog's got a little bit lucky there. All right, we'll have to thank the referee after the match for that one. All right, but it results in an Adrian scrum still and in the four. green zone. All right, within 25 to 30 okay, yards good? of the okay. try zone they're trying to score Same in. On. Very good position for your dogs here. If we can Guys. hang on to the ball, it is scrum. Number seven came in straight and turned it sideways. That's not coming in from the side. Because he entered straight, and if he turns him, yep, yep. Oh, a little I, bit I of cheekiness by the Lindenwood Lions at the breakdown, but that is no what you need if you're going to be a high-functioning, high-level rugby program. <laughs> you know, these are not rules. These are laws, and all laws Five, are open to go. interpretation. Set, hold! And your number nine from the Bulldogs will get that ball when it'll come. Uh, dominant oh, scrummaging right. performance thus far by the Lindenwood Lions. The ground. That would be a penalty against Adrian, Adrian Bulldogs. Number two. Nice kick into touch by Lindenwood. And that's going to set them up about, you know, 10, 10 yards into the half of the Bulldogs. There it goes. Oh. Oh. Line out thrown in by Lindenwood. And number two, let's see what will happen. Oh. A little nice back pod ball, the most dangerous option off the line out because you're able to stretch it. Oh. Gap was there, and the attack was on, but just a little bit of a handling error in the back line. Ruins an excellent opportunity. Right, you know Coach Josh Macy of Lindenwood is not going to be happy about that. It's been good. Keep working hard. Now we got a scrum down coming to your age. Coach! Fine! Good job, three. Jeremy will Set. get that ball in for the Bulldogs. That ball will come out the channel. Oh, junior silo. Oof. Nice little run off an eight pick to the you know strong side. Not usually what you see, but it's worked all right there. A little slow step by your Adrian Bulldogs. Maul! Maul called by the referee, and now your dogs are in some trouble. Right, Lindenwood. Lindenwood defense has done very well to hold that ball up and secure the turnover. So the wall there. Uh, a mall is formed yeah. when there's a ball carrier and one player from either team He's trying to basket. drive yeah, down. Yeah, you were field. trying to get down. So if under your arms and off, yeah. Just yeah. as our referee said. If you're trying to make a tackle, if you can hold that player up on his feet and you, you've got a couple friends coming in, if you can hold them up and drive them backwards, by law, it's a turnover and you get the scrum. The 
Bulldog set up on the defense, ready to defend that ball. All right, we need a good drive here. Good push. Oh, but you see, ooh, number one, Dylan Lewis for the Bulldogs. Got folded up right there. He's going to need to work on sinking his hips and driving himself straight and back into the tight head for Little Boy. We'll keep a close eye on this near side of the scrum. They call it the dark arts of scrummaging. It takes a long time to learn them. Even when you know him, the guy opposite you has about 60, you know, 60, 65 pounds on you. Not easy to do. Both teams get a good push here. Oh, Take it out! Use it now. out! Now! Oh, the ball gets good the job. Ball. Nice little fight there by the Bulldogs. <laughs> Hard run by Lindenwood, though. Puts them on the front foot. Gain some ground. Uh, and the call is straight off our feet against the Adrian Bulldogs. So rugby is a game that's played on your feet. You lose your feet, you fall over, you go on your hands and your feet. Illegal. Got to get back up off that ground. Mm -hmm. That's number eight, Junior Silo, who's been penalized at the breakdown. Kick is going. Five mil, five mil scrum, excuse me. Yeah. Five meter scrum is the call, so that kick, fielded by the Bulldogs, brought back into their own try zone and touched down. Results in a turnover, so it is now a Lindenwood scrum at the five meter line. Very dangerous here for your Bulldogs. Let's see how Adrian Bulldogs defense will go about this. Will they make the right decisions and cover the right people or what will they do? Yep. We'll keep an eye on number eight for Lindenwood, Captain Duncan Krieg from South Africa. Right, would not be shocked if he opts for a pick and go here and tries to take this ball to the line himself. Ooh, we see one of our dogs has slipped out of the scrum there. Uh, but everybody's okay. Gotta always gotta check and make sure after these scrums. That's about, you know, close to a thousand kilos uh, per per pack. Uh, that's quite a bit of weight falling on you. All right. So number two, Luke Cullingsworth, who's doing all right. He's ready to get back in the game and back in the scrum. Very important that the Adrian Bulldogs have good structure in these scrums so they don't fall into the side. Yep, and if it happens enough times, the referee will have no choice but to send in, give a yellow card to one of the Adrian College front rows. That would leave them down at 14 and force them to make a replacement. Set. Stay there. A ball comes in from Lindenwood. Oh, big drive by the Lindenwood Lions. It's going forward. They're trying to drive it in. That's a five-meter pushover truck. Oh, big try by Lindenwood there. So if that ball stays in the scrum, you can go 100 meters down the field. But for Lindenwood this time, they only needed five, and they got it. That was number eight, Captain Duncan Krieg, scoring the try off strong work in the scrum by the Lindenwood pass.
I'll take that lemon wood and it's good. Oh, another excellent strike from the lemon wood lines. Twenty one lemon wood, zero AC. Let's see if your bulldog will bring up some points today in this game. You had to expect a challenge if you're Adrian, right? Lemon wood for years now, going on fifteen, has been a very strong team nationally. You know, this is our first season in D1A competition. So we're testing ourselves against the best in the country. I would say so far 21-0, 30 minutes in. We put up a good fight. We just need to continue getting that pressure. Right, yeah. um, right there, that's Nasta of the Wooded Wood Lions, unable to control the kickoff. This is, may be the best opportunity yet Adrian has had to put some points on the board. Line out just outside the 20 yard line. Let's see what the boys can do with this. That ball comes in and Bulldogs bring it down. Looks like they're passing that ball out. Hands in the space. Oh, we're letting one of our big runners go through. Right. Oh, a, n a nice quick ball out of this rock. Putting this Lindenwood defense under pressure. Inside 10 yards. Bulldogs coming back with some good energy, good flow with the ball. And we go back to the weak side. And that's a try for your Adrian Bulldogs. That's the man from Suva, Fiji, number eight, Junior Silo. Barreling through line defenders on his way for yet another try. If you've kept up with the Adrian College men's rugby, that is a very familiar sight. All right, and it's good to see that sort of success he's having against, you know, Wind and Wood Lions. Again, top side in the country. Adrian will set up the kick. This will be the man known as Chino from Buenos Aires, Argentina, lining up for the first conversion kick for your Bulldogs. Ch -ch Chino. Kick is up and. And good! Converted try by Adrian Bulldogs leaves us with a 21 to 7 score. Eight minutes left to play in this half. Right, games are won and lost in the first five and the last five minutes of each half. So if your Bulldogs can stay on the front foot, continue putting up some points here, they'll enter the halftime break with a lot of confidence. Time your run. Kick put up by Lindenwood. Be caught by the Bulldogs. You field it nicely by Tajay Miles. Good off lane. All right, expect a clearance kick to touch here. Oh, run! Oh, and it hasn't found touch. Dangerous attacking opportunity for the Lions. Pushing that ball to the far side, looking for a gap, but not finding one. Good kick chase by the Bulldogs. Adrian sets back up to defense to defend that ball. Nice crack by Adrian Bulldogs. Oh, nice flat ball. Oh, but could not hang on to it. Hard pressure there on the defensive line. Time off! Trainer, number eight. Oh, Adrian's got a man down, so we're going to take a quick break. Let the medics attend to him. Time off! If there was one word I was going to use to describe the communication arts program at Adrian College, it would be unique. Students find themselves on the radio, in front of and behind the camera, and directing their own programs. Students learn in a personalized environment that sets them up 
a world of opportunities. Are you ready for your moment in the limelight? Learn more about the Rush Communications Center and Adrian College's communications program by visiting adrian.edu today. Welcome back, right? Everybody's good to go. No one's come off the pitch. Everyone's healthy, and we're ready to get back at it in this D1A matchup on a Friday night. For those of you just joining us, I'm Mike Bowen, head coach of the Adrian College Women's Rugby team, alongside Day Quinney, women's rugby freshman from Boise, Idaho, representing the great state. Bulldogs. Nice quick scrum. That's what we nice need to do. Oh, oh, good offload. Ball's bouncing around, but referee is judged to go backwards, and now your Bulldogs in an attacking threat. Uh, but last offload's not gone to hand, leading to a turnover. Uh, but that turn. That turnover, unfortunately, by Lindenwood. Foot got dragged into touch, and now we're going to have a line out to your Adrian College Bulldogs. No, no, not that one. There we go. Yep, a little bit, a bit of mis miscommunication okay. with the numbers the there. The they dropped. You have. A challenge adjusting yes, your you expectations if you've got a call going in. Let's see what the dogs are able to do. The Bulldogs get that ball over nice front pod down. ball, nope. cleanly won by the Bulldogs. Oh, and a junior silo taking another hard charge. Stay down. Good work. Nice out the back ball and a little, uh, you know, little footwork by Chino. Gains a few meters. Uh oh, ball on the deck, kicked ahead through by Lindenwood. Does it sit up? It does. There's a good offload, a little bit of shoving back and forth, but the referee says play on, and it is a try to the Lindenwood Lions. I believe that is number 11, Bautista Nasta from Buenos Aires. Uh, and see, little mistakes like that, that's what you cannot do against top quality teams like Lindenwood because they will pounce, they will put you under pressure, and they will take advantage. Lindenwood will get ready to give a good conversion kick. That's Lindenwood Lions number 15, Brendan Mason from Zimbabwe, missing his first conversion of the day, but has had an excellent boot so far. <laughs> the kiss is for me. All right, three minutes left in this half. Adrian Bulldogs right, looking to right, kick right. off. Yeah, right. right. They're going to want to do everything they can to end this half on a positive note and carry a bit of confidence into the break. Don't touch him. Good. Caught and brought down by Lindenwood. Get away. Get away. Back up six. Good job. Excellent work. Oh, oh. The ref. oh. It's number six. Take him back. Oh. Deep kick into Bulldog territory. Field it cleanly by Chino, however. Another kick. Oh, and a kick has stayed in bounds deep in Lion territory, but there's a strong carry six, six. forward by the Lions. Well, 
very wide, very flat ball to the forwards. It results in a penalty. Appears to be a seatbelt tackle against Adrian. So that's what happens when you're put under pressure like that. You need to scramble a little bit to get back in position. Results in a mistake. I'm not so this pace of Linenwood putting your Adrian Bulldogs under a little bit of pressure right now. Booming kick downfield. It makes a good 35, 40 yards of space for the Lions. Right, your dogs need to stay composed here. You need to be physical, you need to stay together. We've got under two minutes left in this first quarter. <laughs> Oh, it was a beautiful throw by your, the hooker for Linenwood, Christopher Wallace from Massachusetts. But unfortunately, the scrum half could not control it on the way down. It's another costly mistake for the Lions. So, right, you've got to be impressed by Linenwood's power in contact and just the way they're able to move the ball through the hand so smoothly. But there are some inconsistencies creeping into the game on attack. Right, they'll certainly look to be more clinical in the second half. Referee calls a reset. With such short time left in the half, we could expect this to be the last play of your first half action. Okay, yeah, yeah, I heard him. I heard him, I heard you, yep. Get those shoulders out. Crouch. Fine. Set. Balls out. Get taken out by. Oh, little Sunny Bill out the back. Offload from Junior Silo. It has found a target. Quick support after that. Uh, support, however, was not on their feet and your Bulldogs have been penalized. It's there. Touch. Okay. All right, and the Lions look to go to touch here, get a line out, and end this half with a try. Aggressive game plan being played by the Lions right now. Oh, it's an excellent kick as well, finding its way to the five-yard line. Look for the mall here. They've done it multiple, multiple times. It's worked very successfully in our red zone. So let's see what kind of tomfoolery these forwards can get up to. Oh, you're, good. you're great. No worries. Ball comes in from Lennon. Mall! Ball's up. Mall's formed. Turning to the center of the field. Oh, and it keeps going. Lennon Wood with a well, well formed mall. Excellent roll and drive through your bulldogs. You see that mall starting to turn right there. Players in the middle of the mall can she actually shear off and continue on. Right, very difficult to defend a rolling mall like that when executed properly. Right, and that just speaks to the strength of the Linwood Forward Pack's coaching, yeah. their tactics, and their execution. Compared to what it should be, I'll take it. Yeah. Linwood gets ready to give off a good conversion kick. That hopes it will go in. To be number 15 again, Mason, looking to extend the Linwood lead. is up just inside the left upright Mason is now four for five on conversions for the day and we're going into the halftime break with lit your the Linenwood Lions up 33 over your Adrian Bulldogs with seven stay tuned we'll catch you in a Coach, little bit you have a specified halftime
There are so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students, faculty, and staff and lead with the skills and tools needed to be inspiring industry leaders and professionals with high hopes and dreams for our bright futures ahead. The people and the experiences that we are most grateful for are the ones that will continue us on this upward path for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of gratitude, thank you to my fellow classmates for being a part of this community with me. Whether we spent most of these moments together or barely crossed paths, you contributed your gifts and talents to continue the legacy of this incredible community. Thank you for prioritizing the preservation of the Adrian College experience and for continually seeking to develop the institution's ability to develop both the knowledge in our heads and the care in our hearts. Thank you to the roommates, friends, teammates, and peers who, although we have only known each other for four years, it seems impossible to think about being surrounded by anyone else in the coming weeks. We celebrate each other's accomplishments, became each other's biggest cheerleaders, and never let each other struggle alone. College has been called the most formative years of our lives, but I can say for certain that these last four years have included both the most amazing and most difficult moments of my life. One constant, however, is the support of my friends through it all. It is impossible to thank everyone who makes up our AC family. Together, you have each played an integral role in helping us achieve this momentous milestone. And you be proud to be a graduate of Adrian College. It's a good day to be a Bulldog. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023. on the threshold of a magical time in your life, a time of significant growth and introspection, self-awareness, challenge, and opportunity. A time when you will always look back at and say, you know what, those were incredibly special years. Never experienced before I arrived and never replicated after you leave college. Stadium in Adrian, Michigan. We're here with Linderwood University and Adrian College. I am Deja Quinn from um, Adrian College. I'm a freshman and I'm here with my coach. Uh, where's Duncan? Mike Bowen of the Adrian College women's team. Okay, here we go. Right. Right now.
That's number 10 from Lindenwood, Cole Schaffernorth. Be caught by Adrian. All right, your Bulldogs looking to slow down a little bit and just kick this ball into touch. Oh, but it stayed in. Now again, the Lions have a good attacking opportunity. Um, they're just going to put it back downfield, see what this Bulldog kick def defense looks like. Chips through, and Lindenwood has come up with the ball again, gaining some good territory and putting your Bulldogs on the back foot. Oh, and an excellent job done by the defense. I believe that is number five, your captain, Nick. Andy Arena from Utah. Bulldogs put that ball in the air. Oh, well done on the kick. All right, Adrian countered that little early kick battle very well and come away with the upper hand in territory. Now it's a line out just about at the 30 yard line. Another excellent attacking oh. opportunity. Your Bulldogs have to capitalize now. That ball comes in. That's a good the Bulldogs. Oh, uh, it's a good back pod ball, but just slipped through the fingertips of our scrum half, number nine, Jack Stevens from Detroit Central Catholic. Be a knock on. Right, it's going to come back to a scrum for Lindenwood. In the first half, they were dominant in this area of play. Hopefully, our Bulldogs uh, listen to their forwards coach, Chris Hathaway, and come up with an effective way to counter what Lindenwood is doing in there. Set, stay up. Maybe a little back and forth between scrum halves. They're usually chippy players. You Ball in the love of the game, however. Ball comes out. Ooh. Ooh. Back in. Big, hard-charging run right there. Oh, nice nice no, tackle. there wasn't anybody there. You're fine. That's fine. Oh. Kick coming up. Very high, very short. It's in. It's knock on. Um, Knocked on by the Lindenwood Let it go. wing. Let it go. That was Let number it go. 14, Lotaro Sotolance from Argentina. I know. Play, knock on advantage. Right, and referee still playing advantage for the knock on to your Bulldogs. Junior Silo. Let go, 12. Getting a We're few fine. hard 12. meters in. Stop. Advantage over. Oh, nice, nice chip kick through, but fielded cleanly, put downfield. Lindenwood chases on. It's been touched. And that ball has gone into touch, but we're unsure who comes away with it. All right, and the call is line out to your Adrian Bulldogs. All right. In our own red zone here, we want to look to exit effectively and play smart rugby. Ball comes in. We got channel. Bulldogs managed to get that ball. Good offload. Forward. Bro, yep. Outside. Up, brought out of the 22 meter line. This kick needs to stay in. On! Oh, and it's done. What? <laughs> very well done with that kick. Another kick out. Good nice up. up and under here from the Lindenwood Lions. All oh, to an appears to be to an offsides player, I believe is going to be the call. Offside line. Right, and now referee asking Captain <laughs> Nick law, Urena they to come at the kick. for the option. You have to actively retreat. That's all right. Right, and this will come Apparently, all the way back to the point yeah, of fine. the Time kick. Law. Scrum call. Right, and it is a scrum called by the Bulldogs. So the law is if a player kicks it to then play the ball, if you're on their team, you must have started from either behind the kicker or you must wait until someone behind the kicker gets in front of you. All right, we had a forward caught in traffic there who went up for the ball. Another uncharacteristic mistake by the Lindenwood Lions. 
it's not ball. It's gonna come in from your Adrian Bulldogs. Nice push given by Lindenwood. Ooh, some pressure Oof. by Lindenwood. Bulldogs right, sloppy at the up. back of the scrum. Oh, a lot of bodies flying around there, but the call in the end is knock on. Yeah, but he didn't. Against like he, it pulled Lindenwood. back and then it hit his foot and went forward, but the backwards was here. Yeah. Trust me, those are annoying for me too. A little communication from the rest of Lindenwood. Right, and I think our referee tonight doing an excellent job keeping composure and yeah. you know engaging in a dialogue with the players. Yes. Right. And everybody's on the same page, and there's a mutual level of respect. I think the dialogue with the referee is very good. That is a good quality to have some good sportsmanship. Bulldogs, Bulldogs under a lot of pressure, in. but Junior Silo, Ball another nice out. dig out. To the left. Oh. Ball's gone just behind the attacking defend, uh, excuse me, the attacking dog. Knocked on. We're going to have a scrum to the Lyon. If you want to change the ball, Lyon. have one of your guys go get a new one. Make it quick. Scrum will be formed. All right. At the 50. Knock on. Scrum down will have today. Lots hey, of anything that will result in fewer scrums will make me happy. And I think everyone else. Yeah. Right. As a forward, I love yeah. a good scrum, but as a viewer, not the Perfect. most Keep exciting job, thing guys. to watch Come. back to back to back. Yeah. Fine. Right? So you have to appreciate it for the, Set. you know, just the, <laughs> the physicality and the good technique job, involved. <laughs> As a spectator sport, we'd like to see this ball in play a little bit more. Oh, big drive by the Lindenwood Pack. Lindenwood. Take it down. Pick off the base of a rock. Good work on the. Oh, a nice little counter by the uh, by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs will set up defense. And we'll take it to the right of the field. Oh. Ooh, with a quick pass on the outside. The ball had appeared to travel forward, but our referee calling advantage for a no wrap tackle before that. It's going to be a penalty against the Bulldogs. Lennon Woods ball. Look for, yet again, look for a kick to touch. Get inside 10 yards from our try line and another rolling ball. Fortunately for the Lions, that ball has been kicked to touch through the back of the try zone. That will make it a scrum from where the ball was kicked. Six on to 22. No. Oh, sir. Yeah. Seven? Okay, thank you. With the hair, got it. Yep, and we've got a number eight, Duncan Creed for Linwood, taken off the field. The Lions have a new captain. That's number seven, Calvin Eyrig, a uh, man from California, who also attended the International School of Tyler. Come in. You see that number eight junior silo binding not on the locks, but between a lock and a flanker in order to dig that ball out quick. It's been a very effective adjustment by the Bulldogs. Oh, and an excellent kick, not quite fielded by number 15, no, Brendan Mason ball. Ball. from the Lions. Yeah, right. It's fine. So not a tragic mistake. Lennon Wood will still have this line out, but it's in their own red zone. No. no, the 22 is where the flag is. Out. You, your team put the flag. Home team disadvantage. Disadvantage to the home team. Ball goes up. Brought down. Yep, cleanly won by the Lindenwood Lions. Fast play, little chip kick through. Cleanly recovered by Lindenwood, who's now got runners in space. 
It's a foot race. And oh, the Lions appear to have gotten gotten the better of it. So that is what happens when there's a little break in the defense and a very well coached, very skilled, very accurate team is able to take advantage of those gaps on the edge. Can't quite make out who that try scorer was for you, but it's another one of the danger men on the outside for those Lions. Oh, you're a good one, too. <laughs> so 10 minutes into the second half, Linwood comes away with the first try. And one gets ready to put up a converter, hoping that it will go in today. Ball is all good. Oh, strike doesn't quite have enough power on it. And the score remains Linden with 38 and your Adrian College Bulldog 7. Right, this is where the pace of play of the Lindenwood Lions is really going to start to take a toll on the de defense of the dogs. Right, very difficult to stay composed and to keep up with that sort of rapid I totally ball get your movement. Point, but that's where they put the flag. Did anyone say something about the best pass rusher? Or? I don't know what I didn't see the ball. <laughs> oh, little slip through by Linenwood. Oh big shot there by one of your bulldog defenders. Not sure if the arms came through on an attempt to wrap, but referee says play on. Kick is up and caught by Chino. Another kick put up. Uh, kick directly into touch, so directly out of bounds. If that happens from outside of the 22 meter line, so further out than 22 meters from your own goal line, the ball, the line out comes all the way back to where the ball was kicked from. All right, so mistake in our tactical kicking there. Just pushed it a little bit far and we have put ourselves under quite a bit of pressure instead of relieving it. You see a line out to Lindenwood. Ball's gonna come in just about now. Ball's caught by Lindenwood. It's brought oh. down right out to the pod. Brought down again. Off your feet. Head right first. Ooh. Off your feet. Off feet is the call against your Adrian Bulldogs, and they're backed up for another okay. penalty at the breakdown. You know, we've got to wonder if the referee's going to gonna reach into that pocket for a yellow card if the dogs aren't careful. That ball kicks the touch once again, and that will be a line out for the uh, Linden Yeah, it, that's yours. Yeah. Okay, pull. See yeah, that pull. sub coming off for Lindenwood Lions. One of the props, not sure which one. All right. Look for a maul here. It's been effective so far. Let's see if the dogs. Oh, and the dogs do a great job at contesting the line out. Have stolen it. Hopefully, look to slow things down here and just get the ball out of the danger area. Oh, very dangerous kick, uh, excuse me, defensive launch there. Almost had that kick charge down. Adrian smartly decides to take a run in. Oh, and a late tackle is called a... I call it his late, all years late. Yep. Same standard. Late tackle called against the Lindenwood Lions. Really bailing out the Bulldogs here. So we're able to get out of our own 22 and get a little bit better territorial possession in the middle of the field. Be a kick to touch by the Bulldogs. It's fine. Yeah. Line out. 
give it to the bulldog. Double, double, double. Five. Okay, five. You're in. Good job, nine. Oh. <laughs> Ball Throw came in. To the not bulldogs. quite on Game point. Down. Big charge by one of the lines. Forwards. Oh, and another little knock oh, on. Good. Under pressure. Pick and go by your number eight. It's fine. Yep. Well, the dogs have numbers on the far side of the field. Can they execute? Oh. Uh, unfortunately, just a little bit too much pressure on the hands there. Leads to a knock on by the Bulldogs. Ooh, Lindenwood Lions lucky to get out of danger there. Knock on Bulldogs. I forgot my water at home. There's so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students back with all right, and we're back after just a little bit of a chat by our referee. It's going to be a scrum to the Lindenwood Ten. Lions in Outside. White. Outside, yep. <laughs> Having a lot of fun in the booth here, bringing you some live commentary of this Adrian College Bulldog match. For those of you just... Uh, tuning in. My name is Mike Bowen. I'm the head coach of the women's program here at Adrian College. I'm joined by freshman on the women's team, Deja Quinney from Boise, Idaho. Yes. City of Trees. Lines have been strong in the scrum all day. Let's see what they want to do with that dominance in this area of the field. Hold it! Hold it! Let's have it, nine. Ball be put in by Lindenwood. Out quickly. Oh. Good bring down by Adrian College. Right. And that first receiver off the front for the Lions, he's been uh, attacking the line often. But our okay. number 10, Pitolo Vatuve from East Palo Alto, California, has been defending very well. Right, Lions looking to slow things down here. Kick out. Nice box kick from the base of the rock. The ball's Fielded caught. cleanly, but a very strong kick chase. Makes the tackle. Bulldogs elect to go quick. Looking for a little half gap on the far side, but just bundled up into touch, and it's a turnover. Going to be Lindenwood ball just inside the 50. Lindenwood, you're going to use the gold line. Yeah, you Thank you. As we're in the second half, when what is up by 38, oh. AC7. Okay. And it looks like we've got a hooker Good. sub coming in for Lindenwood. That would be Mark Barbour from South Africa in for Christopher Perfect. Wallace from Massachusetts. All right, give, give a little more. Perfect. You guys are Play good right there. Tough okay, to get go. subbed in as a hooker straight on a line-out throw. Let's see how Mark's throws. Hold up. Hey! Oh, no, beautifully fine. done. I got him. I got him. Man, this made me eat my words. And now there's an effective Lindenwood attack coming in the back line. There's right. gaps on both sides if the ball can get there. Nice offloads by Lindenwood. Ooh. Pass out the back, not quite to hand. Oh. Oh, big hit coming in. Referee does not appear to be thrilled. It was thrilled. an upright tackle. It was an upright tackle. The penalty is here. Yep, and that is a head-to-head -head collision. Number 10, Patalu, Petalo Vatuve, making illegal contact to the head for number 14 from Lindenwood, Lautaro Sotoance from Argentina. It doesn't go to the 500 penalty. Right, Bulldogs lucky to come away without a card through that dangerous tackle. But it remains 15 men on 15 men in this game. 20 minutes left in the second half. Really? Uh, 
All right, another effective linen wood line out. Right, ball rolls out. Looks to be a very structured attack for the Lions. All right, defense held, holds strong for the moment. And now we've got a little bit of time to readjust. Oh, excellent launch defensively. No! You're fine. Uh, no, you're fine. Number three has to roll. Yup, and so that is our height head prop. Freshman Jacob Sanders from Texas being penalized for off feet at the breakdown. Again, rugby's played on your feet. If you're laying on the ground, you gotta get out of the way fast. Balls kick to touch. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody knows what's coming here. A right. big Ma maul. That's right. Big rolling maul. It's been very effective for the Lions throughout this game. Oh, they want to go quick, but no! They're looking to just attack this line. Try to break no, through the, the old-fashioned way. Taking up. Ooh, the wood attackers through a little half gap. Uh -oh. Defense is scrambled. All right, holding strong for now. We've got to get back to the feet quickly. We've got to be more accurate with the tackles as well. All right, that's another linen wood try. Right, right down the middle of the Adrian defense. Yep. Ugh, look at that line. He sees the gap on the inside, and cuts in, and then bounces back out. Excellent footwork, excellent attacking instincts. You know, another try for the linen wood Lions. Great play right there. Then we'll set up to give a good conversion. I hope it'll go in. Yep, Lions really showcasing today why they are one of the top teams in the country and what it takes to play at that level. All right, a lot of valuable learning opportunities for your Adrian Bulldog boys tonight. Just a little under 20 minutes in the second half today. My conversion kick is good. Yep, that's number 15, Brendan Mason. I believe that makes him five for seven tonight on conversion kicks. Right, very accurate off the off the tee. Right, as are many many of the Lindenwood Lions kickers. Right, Adrian College got to play with some pace, got to play with some urgency here. Right, when you're getting punched in the face like this for 80 minutes. Can you stand back up in the last quarter, the last 20 minutes or so, and give another <coughs> punch back? That's what we're going to find out tonight. Linderwood, Lindenwood, my apologies, 45, Adrian College, 7. A little kick back and forth has been ruled into touch by our touch judge on the far sideline. We're going to restart play with an Adrian College lineup. Adrian College will throw this ball in. Oh, it's a deep ball not been held by the Bulldogs, and now the Lions are on the attack yet again. Good work. No, touchdown. down. That's an ugly knockout. kick, That's put to the foot, but then forever. knocked on by the Adrian College Bulldogs. Lions come away with one and receive a scrum just inside the Bulldog half. Good scrum formation by both colleges here. Put in Fine, let's go! Set! Keep it up, elbow up! Oh, that Stay high! Stay high! Big drive coming in by the Lions. Ball is one. And out again to the midfield. Great run. Little offload. Not quite to hand, however. That right. would have been. 
Very dangerous. Yep, excellent opportunity. <laughs> Very exciting attacking flair. That is what we want to see out of the Lindenwood Lions. Right, but not quite executed efficiently. Coming back with a scrum of your Adrian Bulldogs. Now, in this area of the field, the Lions are not going to be worried about getting penalized here. Even if they are, there's still a long way to go to their try zone. Get ready for a humongous push from this pack. Fine. Big scrum by Adrian. Bulldogs need to get this ball in and out quickly. Good push Big by drive Lindenwood. coming. Oh, and it has been stolen by the Lions. There's number 20. Uh, apologies, I'm not going to be able to get that number for you. Right, but an excellent, excellent scrum by this dominant scrummaging pack for the Lions. Oh, a little chip kick through. Right. Caught by Adrian. Brought up. Tackle! No! No! No, stay back. All right. Nice kick by number Hold 15. On. Chino. Yeah. Not quite out Oop. to touch. Ball slips out of the hands there, but it's all gone backwards. Oh, it's a kick to the corner. Not held on to, but recovered. Right. Hold back! There's a high up and under. We've got a good chase on. Big hit, but the pass is away, and the Lions are on attack. They've got a lot of numbers and a lot of structure on both sides of the field. There are opportunities everywhere. Where will they go? A little pressure by the defense. Yep, ball not going to hand, but it's all right. Lindenwood's recovered it. One Ooh, pass out the hit. back. Oh, and a chip through by the wing. All right. Coming onto it strong. Waiting to hit what the ref says about this play. It appears, and let's get a Nine little Lions. look at this uh, replay if we can. So I believe the call is going to be a playing the man without the ball, so hitting somebody that does not have the ball in their possession, which is a penalty. So the Lindenwood Lions have been penalized. Adrian College Bulldogs will look to kick this ball to touch and get out of there. Kick to touch. 12 minutes left in this Division I-A Midwestern Conference competition. Five. A lot of big hits. There's a lot of back and forth play. But in the end, it's been the flair of the back three of Lindenwood and the dominance and set piece of their forwards that have really put them ahead in this match so far. It's good defense by Adrian College. Another pick up by Lindenwood. Ball's going off the back, bounced off the referee, and now comes out of the hand of the Lindenwood Lions attacker. Taken in by White, that's a black line out. Uh, you heard our ref say it, some Nifty shifting defense by your Adrian College Bulldogs drives the Lindenwood Lions into touch. Results a line out on the near side of the field. So even though we've retained possession and gone sideline to sideline, we haven't made much ground yet. Yes. Right, need to execute, need to look to be clinical in here and play some smart rugby. Adrian College line out. Oh, excellent line out by your dogs. Wide pass to a Forward pod in the middle of the field, but a good tackle by the Lindenwood Lions defenders. Adrian hangs onto this ball. Nothing here. Up, oh, it was Up a early. nice kick by the Lions, but was referee in one of your was playing advantage for offsides yes. against the Lions. Be an Adrian College okay, penalty kick, right about at the 37-yard line. All right, so now the now your Bulldogs can really look to gain some ground and play in the right area of the field. All right, let's see if our kick finds touch. Oh, it's an excellent kick, and now your Bulldogs have an awesome opportunity to put some more points on the board for this home crowd. Yes. 
five in. In the second half, we have just about 10 minutes left in this game. Play! Line Oof. not received Hit. by the ball. Uh, line out not going to hand. Recovered by freshman prop Jacob Sanders. Push. So your Bulldogs are under some pressure Hold here. On. Oh, a nice little rubber throw. All right. Hold. The window with fullbacks done an excellent job putting that ball downfield. Right, and Quinn Murray decides to go quick with this line out. Oh, uh, charge down kick. Now this is some exciting back and forth rugby. Oh, strong counter by Lindenwood, but another counter straight back by your dogs. And that's number eight, Junior Silo, looking to make a break. It's a dangerous man with ball in hand. Good fight put up by number eight. Oh. Punch that ball. Adrian College still with possession in a messy, messy rock. Oof. Hard charge by the Lindenwood defense. Your Bulldogs do well to maintain possession, but are clearly under some pressure on it. High pressure. To fight for these oh, and that's got to be a turnover one by the Lindenwood defense. Notice how quick they are to get over the ball after tackles. I believe that is number 22, Delfino Salinas, for the Lindenwood Lions. It's those micro skills for the Lions defense right now. Making a tackle, getting back to your feet and contesting a ruck, or getting over a tackled player quickly and getting your hands on the ball. It's really been effective for them, creating turnovers. Eight minutes to go out. in this contest. My apologies, Dad. Go you're ahead. good, you're good. Just another line out. Leonard Wood, right oh, in. Bounced off the hands. It looks like the Bulldogs have a chance with it. Nice way to scrape that ball off the ground. Oh, big cutout pass. Doesn't find a hand. Eventually finds a foot. Deep, oh, Deep kick downfield, not fielded cleanly, knocked on by the Lindenwood back three. And it is a scrum well into the Lions territory for your Adrian College Bulldogs. Look for this ball to get out quickly and to get into the hands of our dangerous backline players. It is slippery. Gonna be a scrum formed. Inside of the ten. Bulldogs will put that ball in through the channel here in a few moments. A oh, big early drive by the Lions. Has it created? It has created a turnover. We're good. Oh, and another knock yeah, on it. Up. Uh oh. Yep, we have advantage twice. Now, now it's been a knock on. Knock finally That's called fine. against your knock Adrian College back. Bulldogs in the scramble for the ball. We do ha appear to have players down. And we do have substitutions coming on for both sides as well. Yes, yeah, thrown down by Lyndon Wood. Coming back after a quick break for an injured player. Everyone's all right. Everyone's looking to finish this contest with barely six minutes to go. We've got a scrum to the Lindenwood Lions deep in their own half. Fine. There isn't anything. That was just a full body. Some positive energy yeah, going here in the last couple minutes closer. of this game. 
Yep, especially in a hard-fought match like this where one side's been dominant. Very important to keep a cool head and continue to play some smart, clean rugby. Fine! Right. Ball's gonna be put in by Lindenwood. See what ball will come out. Nice offload. Looking for a strike run as Lindenwood's midfield. Inside! And a kick chase getting ready to come on. This ball put well in the. Oh! Ball kept. All right. It is a quick line out yet again. All right, but a little messy. A little bit white. messy indeed, yes. I can't play advantage there. First knock on by White. All right, so the knock on called no, against Lindenwood by the referee. Know, be an Adrian you, Scrum coming yeah. now right about at the 50 yard line. All right, this has been a <laughs> very, very passionately, very physically contested match so far. But once again, it's been just the, the 18, execution at set piece and some of the attacking and kicking player of the women's oh, backs that have put them on top. Correct. So let's see what our forward pack for the Adrian College Bulldogs are able to do yeah. under that sort of pressure in the last four minutes. Yep. Balls put in by our Adrian Bulldog. And it's out by Ooh, Stolen. It's popped out at an awkward angle. But referee says play on. Good. Right, Linwood's got the ball on the outside. Will they look to go quick? They will not look to go quick. Ruck's a little messy. The referee says all is well. Play on. Ooh, tired Adrian defender slipping off a tackle. Linwood looking to get on the front foot with a little crossfield kick here. Oh, mm. just in front of number 14. So to unsay. Oh, good counter ruck oh, by the Bulldogs. Excellent smash in the ruck there. They were going forward, good counter ruck. It just scrum black. The ball has become unplayable, but Adrian College, the last man to be moving forward at that breakdown, they have won the turnover and earned a scrum. Good scrum down here to black the Bulldogs. Bulldogs scrum. Right, many replacements in for both sides. Let's see what this scrum is able to look like. Oh. Medical attention on the field, however. Fuck! Looks like a man's just getting himself off the field quickly. We'll look to get back in this action when we can. Referee going over to take a look, see what the holdup is, and get things started once again. Okay, see you, guy. Okay, thank you. Time on. Time on, says the ref, and we are underway for the final two and a half minutes of this contest. Let's keep those positive pictures. Right, new, well. Newly I'm formed sorry, Midwestern there. Division 1A conference contesting one of its regular season matches tonight. Fine. Let's go. That conference is Set. the Lions and Hold Adrian College Bulldogs Hold in front of you. Plus the Good. Davenport Panthers and the, I believe the Bearcats from McKendree, oh, Illinois. Oh, Big high kick, fielded cleanly by Lindenwood Nine. back three. Oh, man, danger man slipping off some tackles here, looking for support. Can't find someone to offload to. All right, but the ruck is one. Oof. Dog defender thrown out of the tackle there. Lindenwood Lions looking to end this game on the front foot. All right, but your Adrian Bull College Bulldogs are not going to make it easy for them. Kick coming. Start on the full. Ah, kick is going out on the full, directly into touch from outside the 22. And so we have a line out to your Adrian Bulldogs coming back from the point of the kick. No. We're not uh, number 15, Quinn Murray from Detroit Central Catholic looked to go quick there, but is not, not allowed to do so by the referee to his benefit, it seems. 
where everything will come back for a Adrian College Lions. So their mark is here, so you're going to be right here. I can't go. I can't go quick down the pole. You guys are running 50 meters. Lions lose. You're all good. To you by the Bulldogs. All right, little bit of explanation of the laws going on by the ref. Line out comes in, but not straight. Straight to Lindenwood. Straight to Lindenwood. That's right, Day. Oof. Big, hard charging runs coming in here from Lindenwood. <laughs> right. This Adrian College defense under a lot of pressure. You got a prop running at a gap. Right. And now Lindenwood putting a little chip through. Will it sit up? Will it find hands or feet? It looks like it has. Lindenwood in possession of the ball, brought down just outside of the try line. Right, and they're going to look to grind through with the forwards here. Oh, pick and go coming on. Not quite made it. Out to the backs. We've got danger runners coming around the side. A oh, little show and go. And that is a try for number 12, Declan Reese from Australia. Yeah. You saw there Lindenwood using their forwards to crash in the middle, draw in the de defense, and then spin the ball out very wide, very quickly for what is going to be the last try of this match. The score as it stands now, Lindenwood Lions 50, your, your Adrian College Bulldogs 7. Very effective offense here today with the Lindenwood team. Good fight put up by the bull both Bulldog and Lindenwood today. That is accurate, yep. Your Bulldog boys have learned some important and very valuable lessons from this Lindenwood team. Right. Good to see the boys' heads held high. Good to see everyone still healthy and on their feet. Right. This is one that's going to be talked about for the next few weeks before your Adrian College Bulldogs return to action on November 11th against the McKendry Bearcats. That match will be broadcast at home as well. Kick will be good. <laughs> Lindenwood line number 23, Byron Forward from South Africa with the final points of this game. Your final score, Lindenwood Lions 52, Adrian College Bulldogs 7. Thank right. you for joining us today Appreciate on this it. good Thanks, broadcast and a good Plus game played by both teams. Yep, it's been our pleasure bringing you the action. I'm Mike Bowen. Appreciate I'm Day Quinney. Right, y'all you. have yourselves a great night. Well done. Great job.
continue to take pride and learn from Asim Khan's leadership today. Oh,